I had to replay the whole Kate thing. Uh, I'm done. And I found, well, I saw, noticed something I didn't notice last time. I got a message from a private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. And she said, holy shit, what the fuck? This is probably Nathan, but it could be anyone. And I'm like, no, it's Nathan. But then again, the fact that she says it could be anyone could... Ugh. <laughs> it's Chloe's dad. He's a psychopath. He knows where you sleep. <laughs> Stompin' Bigfoots. That's the, uh, the team. The, yeah. Paperball. This is both sad and pathetic. Then I was like, did I read? I feel like I read this last time. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody. Never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pushed out. If you need any money, let me know. That actually is pretty pathetic, yeah. Stuff. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. It's pretty cool. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? <sighs> Am I coming to the party or not? I mean, personally, I'm not a party kind of guy. And all the school, middle school, high school parties and... I never ever went because I have no interest in doing so. Um, but I feel like you would. So, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. <laughs> exactly. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Yeah, see, you think it sounds like fun. And you said exactly what I said. That's hilarious. Let's talk later, Max. Okay. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. <sighs> Fuck makeup. Hmm. 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 The fuck is that? Okay. Curiosity killed the Max. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, Don't no. say that out loud, dork. No. No, she has more subscribers than me. No. Ah. In the last episode of this game, I looked at all these and no one had more subscribers than me. Or I think so. Or maybe. But, uh, uh, e? Shit. She wins. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Bring in Blackwell bloodsuckers. Next to prom night and big football. Mm, reading. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. You could put, pull, pull, pull this off. It's gothic stuff. It's not Victoria. She's not gothic. I don't know. 
Do you need tits to wear this? Because then maybe you could... I don't know. Whatever. I'm not... That... Don't ask me. Rollerblades. Yeah. Ugh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. It's because you got to skate on a skateboard and not rollerblades. Yeah. Hi. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. What? Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's not cool. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's good. the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Yes. Sure. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bitch. Don't do that shit. I looked at that. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Just bullshit, I think. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Oof, hope they don't get busted. Well, it may not be bullshit in, in real life. It's probably pretty standard, pretty cool. But the way they make it look like in games and TV. It's all these popular girls who are all... Yeah. I hate it. Juliet. Juliet's right there, you idiot. Read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. There's Brooke looking smarter than everybody. Mm, I don't know about that. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? Is it snowing? You look distracted. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. So there's random snow. Or there was. And obviously this has to do with the whole thing we experienced when you were experiencing stuff and having missions. Kind of more than missions. You were all in them and stuff. St who the fuck is Stella? Is that the purple hair? Taylor, Brooke, I don't fucking know. Why knock on their doors? I don't know why I would do that. Mm. Get a life and move on, bitch. I'm not knocking that door. Red, red I don't care. Let's go. We have, we gotta go see Chloe. I'm really excited about that. We can't be late. Is that Warren? The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. There. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. 
and I can feel the animals waking up with me. Hello, young Max. Don't say that. It's, it makes you more creepy than you already are. I think you're a really good guy and you're meant to think, Oh, is this like a pedophile? He's gonna rape everyone in their sleep. But no. No, I don't think so. That'd be too obvious. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Yes. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. That's cute. <laughs> but yes, you're actually you're actually right. Normally I'd call bullshit, but you're right. It is destiny. Or something. Uh, yeah. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Of course you will. <laughs> Food waste. Y what? How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Release the Kraken! Come on, squirrels! Time for your 15 minutes of fame! I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Is this not far enough away? For crying out loud. Wowzer, it's hard to get this close to a squirrel. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Nice. Full exposure achievement. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? <sighs> Wait, I'll be right back. I don't know why I said right back. I'll be going that way soon. Uh, uh, Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. <laughs> It's a waiting accident. Accident? <laughs> That's fucking stupid. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Uh oh. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? <sighs> the paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. I still feel like you're too obvious of a bad person. What's going on with the... Whoa. 
Hey, there's a squirrel. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Oh. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. Some people care, you know. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. All right, man. See you later. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. Of course you will. Yeah, yeah, bye. I... I don't know now. What time is it? Can I see anywhere? But I guess not. Hello? I don't think I... care about you? I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. I don't even want to talk to you, but... <sighs> Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even... I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. That was barely talk. That was so short. So you're a better person. You're not about tearing people down, but still you hang out with fucking Victoria who does it all the time. Why the fuck do you do that? Even though she was there for you, I get it, but... Christ. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student of Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this final polite warning. Fucking assholes, man. Fuck off. I hate hate people like that. And parents like that. Fucking rich people. Max! It's over here! Nope. <laughs> hey. Warren is out and about already too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Is that a box? And it says meow. Because there's a cat in the box. That's Max, cute. Max! Come on, yeah, 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 What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting? For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. 
Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Not at all. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes. Yes, let's do that. I like you. And I think Max likes you. It's very, very rare for me to actually like a boy in a game who has a love interest in the protagonist if you know what I mean when you're playing as a girl and stuff and I always hate the guys who are trying to hit on her and, and be with her but you're nice you're a nice guy so far I like you yes let's go ape yes that's exactly what I need I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Good shipmate. We have a date. Or you have a date. Yeah, with a cute boy. He could use some even longer hair. That would make you even cooler. But yeah, I like your shirt and stuff. Let's go see Chloe. Maybe. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Yeah. The lighthouse. 
those people. How far? I don't want can... to go that way. Okay. <laughs> Look at those people. They're like car bucks, car car cardboard bucks, whatever. Yep, I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Glad somebody is. Don't try to. She looks it. busy and stressed. I wouldn't dream of it. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. Can't wait to be rich. I was gonna say something. I forgot. Oh yeah, I think it was about the music. Running late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'd be lucky if you make it by noon. Yeah, you're all like... 40 minutes or else. Max, food, to will, see you there. You're all like, don't be late, and then you're late. Typical. Anyway, about the music, man, I just... Cannot have an episode without copyrighted music. There's no making money of this game. Not that I would have otherwise. Or anyways, or whatever ways, but... Yeah. I like the music, so it's fine. Save our city. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. You could. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Arcadia. Isn't that... That's the same name in the other game I'm playing. Dreamfall. There's Acadia too. And the man-made draught in the bay. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. It might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Yeah, man. Take care. You seem alright. I'm walking into... Okay. Arcadia Gas. The Joy of Watering. Walter Walters. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's go in. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Why do you speak with these random people? Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. <laughs> Don't speak with him. Nor the fishermen. Why? These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Yeah, I think I'll just not talk to people. Even though it's kind of funny. Hey. Hello there, 
to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Okay. <laughs> oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. 25 cents? That's like it's cheap, like they're they're getting more and more expensive in Denmark, like freaking out. I think it's like getting close to a dollar or something. This guy has serious corners. <laughs> it looks like a player. Yeah, I'm not reading that. Nope. Fuck all this, let's get stuff done, or go pee. Maybe I have to go pee. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Okay. Flush before pissing on floor. That graffiti has been here forever. Hmm. Oh, the door is so suspicious. Gross. Rachel A. owes me a BJ. So does your mom. <laughs> I want to go in here, but it's like, yeah. E. Ooh. What does that say? Fire walk with me. I got another photo. I got three photos now. I could have taken a picture outside, I think, maybe. Oh, I'm gonna go try to do that, if I can go outside. Nah, now, now, now. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family, when we were happy. Nope, I don't want to go there. Yeah, but... Where's the sun? Oh, oi, oi, oi. Fuck yeah. Getting them angles, man. Yeah. All right. So a gun. This. 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 I'm gonna try and get them all. Let's go and get some food. Hey, dudes. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? Why do you make skaters sound and talk like this? <laughs> it's so stereotypical and I hate it. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying. Bad boy. So where's all your homework, school girl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. And he's sitting right there. You're secretly talking about a dude out loud who's sitting right there. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got no. blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. He's right there. He can... You can both... We can all three hear each other talk. Yo. What? I accidentally clicked. 
Where are we sitting? All the way in the back? Oh, I want to sit in the back. And you take the non-sunny side. If you sit here, you're going to get sun in the face. That's smart. Ooh. Drool. Want everything. I know. Damn. Oh, Lord. Can I... I don't want to talk to these people. That's weird. Just talking to strangers. We don't do that. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. <laughs> but not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. It surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. Yes. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. She does. I think she does understand. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did, yes. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe, like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I kind of want to... He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh. Oh. Ah, don't make me choose. Holy shit. Holy shit. Bacon omelette or waffle? Bacon or waffle? Waffle or bacon? Ah. You know what? It's morning. You need breakfast. As much as I love waffles, that would be like a thing you have after you've had your bacon omelette. I'm gonna go with a bacon omelette. Because bacon... and eggs. And... <laughs> waffles. 
I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. I will. Or she will. Or whatever. One bacon omelet for the young lady, Stat. Bacon at 12 o'clock hot. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. I no. I'm gonna end it before the music comes on. If it plays out loud, we need more copyrighted music for the next episode. <laughs> I mean part, because the episodes are the games, but the parts are the videos that I'm making. It's, it's confusing. <sighs> Thanks for watching guys. I thought there was going to be Chloe in this episode. There was no Chloe in this episode. But now I'm guaranteed there will be Chloe in the next episode. Yes, sir. Take care. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And thank you a million trillion times for 5,000 subs. I... Can't even begin to understand.